We just pulled up to Believe downtown in Houston. You know, I had a PTSD from where I crashed my car. Rip. New car coming in fucking this Saturday. We got my my little dyke son pulled up. We both uh, pulled up in the gray sweat so you can see whose fucking bulge is bigger. Right. She be walking in the gym with a fucking strap on. She's hiding that shit. We're waiting on everybody else to pull up. We've been in a little back action, little back shots for y'all fucking horny ass motherfuckers. Get a shoddy, bro. She on her way to first day of middle school right now. Free my brother Harambe, bro. They trying to lock bro up, bro. First they shot, bro. He came back from the dead like Jesus, and y'all trying to cage that motherfucker, bro. So welcome back to my fucking uh, garage. Hey, can you get the fuck away from my, my whips? Put your hand off my whip. So, uh, yeah. Dedicated blast, code red, you know. Bro, I feel bad for the guy who gets like... Don't do that again. Bro, if your hair was like dark, what's the short guy from Shrek? Lord Farquaad. Lord Farquaad, bro. <laughs> you see it, right? Fuck you. They're playing like early 2000s, like R&B, and it's fucking hot as shit. So I feel like Magic Mike right now. R&B. Damn, that's way too close, bro. I can do that too. You just can't see it. Hey, comment down below whose uh, tits are bigger, though. Platform slides and then the hundred up pound plate. Every day another fight, but I was scared to bleed. You beat my ass, you better kill me. I return with the fleet. Cut him, gut him down to nothing. Beat the case in the week. If nobody do no snitching, they ain't got shit on me. Walking free while you dead, covered up in the W gym man. You know, sometimes you need that you need that tough love, bro. Let let bro know. Show the text. <laughs> w gym bro. My ass, bro. A little bit. Yeah, because I know the motherfucker, the horny ass motherfucker's about to clip that shit, bro. Double side of stickers gripping on the marks, break. Audio on the tech night. Run your mouth with bushes, spinning in your motherfucking life. Life is bodies floating when the river turns gray. Fucking with a 59 of bullets from my revolver. He wants me, bro. He's definitely looking at my fucking nudes right now. He's definitely scrolling through my fucking Instagram, getting getting hard right now. That's why he's back on the fucking T bar. Yeah, bro. I went. I was taking a shit. I used Lightroom. I was done. <laughs> 
Girls have it so easy, bro. <laughs> hey, I swear to God. Hey, yo, I, I need an armrest. Come here. But, uh, yeah, so it was kind of a mid-workout, honestly. But, uh, nah, but it's fucking, it was a mid-workout. It's, like, hot as hell over in Houston, so it probably looks like I'm dying. This shit feels like a drought, bro. Run up code red to get me the fuck out of Houston, bro. Uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm about to start a GoFundMe, bro, to get me the fuck out of Houston. Are you, are you mentally okay? Like, we've all, like, seen your TikToks, and you're just, like, sitting in your car, like, are you, are you okay? Yeah. Like, how do you, how do you think of the half the shit you talk about, like, on TikTok? How do I think of it? it it's a natural talent. It just comes to me. My girlfriend's calling me. Thank you. It, it's basically just my natural talent. Why is she doing this thank you, like? Why is she doing this thank you, like, while she poses? Oh, made that, I clipped that fucking video that's, like, um, like quit being a bitch, get your shit together, stop victimizing yourself. If you want to be happy, you're in charge of your own happiness, blah, blah, blah. No, for real. Obviously, if you're like, like that, that, that applies in like most situations, but not like, people are like, um, actually, I have BPD, I can't get out of bed in the morning. Okay, I'm not fucking talking yeah, about you. Damn, no, like, no, no, you're ju just talking from a general yeah. consensus that people don't fucking understand. I feel like it's normal now to just feel so bad for yourself all the time. Oh, no, a hundred percent. Like, everybody fucking victimizes themselves and then they just be complacent where they're at. But anytime I say the same shit, I've talked about people being complacent, they're like, you're calling me complacent for being like, just like settling, you're calling fat people complacent because they don't want to go to the gym. Like, bro, yeah. Yeah, you just, are. Yeah, go Maybe to the fucking gym. Pussy. Or do something, bro. Just like try to better yourself, bro. Better your fucking life. Like, you don't, not necessarily the gym, but if you want fucking better for yourself, you're gonna like, like seek it out. Yeah. You can still victimize yourself in a sense and use that as a motivation yeah. factor. But when you victimize yourself to where it holds you back, that's a fucking handicap. But when I was like 15, 16, a 15 year old girl, like obviously yeah. you're gonna be like, well, yeah, that's your oh my God, everyone's out to get me. Yeah, whatever the fuck. But that's the thing. I acted like that as a 15 year old girl. Yeah. There's people acting like that as like actual grown fucking adults. Like again, what is it circle to? They're being complacent. Yeah. Like your life's not changing. You're That's complacent. An and I get it. I'm the first person to admit that, like, we come from a place of privilege for sure. Because, like, our job, like, we wake up no, and no, we work out. But like, it's it's a blessing. And absolutely. the thing is, it wasn't just like fucking as much as like people on the internet are just like, oh, it's handed to you. Yeah, it's not. It's not. It's not. Like, bro, I, before, like, I even was like, quote unquote, a content creator or an yeah. influencer. I was in the gym because I enjoyed the gym. Literally, I didn't, exactly. yes, I didn't Never fucking just was that. like, I could fucking blow up off this shit yeah. and make this a job. Like I fucking worked my ass off and did like all the, like I had multiple past Never. lives and I wasn't fucking happy, but I wasn't complacent where I was just like, just I, I stayed, yeah, exactly. I lived on day to day and just stayed that. Exactly. I fucking found a way out and fucking, and like, so be it as much as people are like, oh, they just have it easy. They're just fucking influencers. Mm -hmm. Bro, and the thing is, they can do, you can do it for yourself. Yeah. Like if you, like if you want, bro, I was in the same fucking position. You were in the same fucking position, mm -hmm. bro. Like nothing was fucking like given, you, I wasn't inherently born into fucking wealth yeah. or fucking fame. It's like, I don't even fucking now. It's like, I don't have half the shit I want, but mm -hmm. I'm not complacent where I'm like, yeah, like I'm settling here. Like everything I'm doing is now is trying to fucking scale and fucking yeah. keep growing, keep pushing, keep surpassing my fucking limits. You know what I mean? Any fucking level you get, if you're complacent, you're just gonna be inevitably, yeah, you're fucked. I get it, because I guess like at a certain point, I didn't understand like, oh, like if you actually just make an effort towards being happy, like you'll be happy. Like that sounds so fucking stupid. That's like, like, or oh, you're in a wheelchair, get up and walk. But it's true. Like if you put effort into your happiness, maybe you won't feel like, you're not gonna be like on top of the fucking world, successful or whatever, but you're gonna feel better. Yeah. Like, you can't sit and wallow and blah, blah, blah. But that's like, your uh, perspective. It like sounds, somebody changing the perspective. Yeah. It can, sounds like, stupid, but like if you just choose to be happy throughout the day, like you just find a couple things. Like I started, like this is stupid and everybody does it. You write down three good things about your day. It makes a really big difference because you look back on the day and you're like, oh, okay, like it wasn't terrible. If you wake up in the morning, you take vitamins, you take a shower every day, you go to the gym every day, you get all your work done, you're super productive, whatever, like you're going to feel better. Yeah. Like even though it sounds like some stupid. No. All right, yo, homie, appreciate the fucking, of the course. one star Uber. Uh, one star. One star, bro. No head. Give me out of this fucking. Give me the fuck out of this hot wheel, bro. <sighs>
They say, oh, all right. Code red on Alpha 8. Yeah. yeah. W chat. W chat.